Not there yet. There we go. Here we're recording and we are live. We're live. Welcome back to the Patreon. Well, not to the Patreon. We just did a great Patreon episode. Welcome back to the Rhino Podcast, everybody's favorite Sunday morning political talk show with myself and Caitlin at the Factual Prep. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday, Caitlin. Okay. Hey, happy Sunday. It's snowing outside. It's a Super Bowl. It's the big game because you can't say Super Bowl because they'll sue you. Super Bowl Sunday. You going to watch? I don't know. I, I'll probably catch it on like the second half. My So my brother-in-law is a season ticket holder for the Bengals. Oh, so nice. Easy. The, I'm I'm rooting for the Bengals because because once every thirty years they make it to the Super Bowl, so it'll be nice to see them actually pull one out. Uh, but we got I got a you know some, we planned ahead here at the house, and I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna try a new soup recipe, tortilla soup. Ooh. I'm gonna try to get some tortilla soup going. Um, so I'll let you know about that next week and how that worked out. But on to the Earth shattering news that I'm going to try to delicately <laughs> discuss that won't get us into trouble, um, but at the same time, we'll let everybody know that this... I, I, look, I don't want to be one of those podcasters or uh, or people that try to hype up something that's not hypeable. Like when I tweeted earlier that there's earth-shattering news in Mass Poly, I mean it. Um, this, this is a game changer for the Massachusetts governor's race. Rumors are swirling. And let me say this, if I'm hearing rumors, if it, by the time a rumor gets to me, that means literally everybody knows it except the public. Okay. I'm not that. And, ins <laughs> and I, and I received the same rumor. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So look, and also the inside baseball stuff, like people know we do this podcast, so they also know that if they tell us things that it's going to sort of get out there and be circulated amongst um, the people. There is a solid, solid rumor because I'm hearing that people are investigating this and people are getting calls from reporters about a leading Massachusetts gubernatorial candidate who, while they are what as a part of their current job is tasked with oversight of uh, state agencies uh, and not not the kind of state agencies that, you know, the Department of Basket Weaving, really important state agencies, was having a romantic affair with the head of a state agency during that state agency's time of major scandal. Now, that's alleged, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, this we, is going to come. Heard the it is a rumor. Yeah. We've heard the rumor. Yep, it's allegedly, a rumor. allegedly, yes. allegedly, 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 allegedly. <laughs> but but we but this has come down to us, and yeah. this is the rumor that we heard, and so it will come out if it does eventually. But allegedly. Okay. Rumor, so, rumor, rumor. This is what we were told. So this is going to come out. It's going to come out for everybody. Okay. It will be the kind of thing that the Boston Globe cannot ignore. Um, this will be in, in which they person purposely <laughs> ignore a lot. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to be able to avoid this one. Uh, national news will cover this. Other campaigns across the board will hit this big time. I wouldn't. I would be surprised if additional high-profile candidates didn't jump into this race because of this news. This is earth-shattering, and justifiably so. Because if there's nothing we've learned from, I guess, scandals of the past, of the past few years of the Me Too movement is you don't bang people at work. Like, don't do it. I mean, we literally just had a scandal at CNN over this. Don't bang people at work. Just even don't if, do it. Even if they're associated with sort of what you do for work, don't bang people at work. Like, go somewhere else. If you want to have an affair, do it outside of work. Okay, you will get screwed. You will lose your job. It will fuck over people at your office. Now, 
I'm hearing other you need to have, you need to be clear eyed on how this is morally bad and yeah. not a good decision. We've seen the last couple of years where people are like, eh, it's not that bad. It actually is bad. Um, Look, Stan, so you Stan, need to start realizing that it is a conflict of interest and a major one at that. Yeah. But uh, and now now a major conflict of interest if you're doing if you're banging a person from work um who is who there's there's problems and you're in charge of investigating the problems like oh my god what kind of judgment is that uh right I, I, all, all, all kidding aside yeah. here yes 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 it is not good jeff i think you're you're kind of flabbergasted i understand that it's gotten to you to the point of speechlessness um, you and I as conservatives in Massachusetts are very concerned because what we're seeing is an oversight issue. And so that oversight issue is a problem. Um, I think a lot of uh, liberals will not see this as an issue because they never see it really as an issue because they use oversight as a political tool. Um, yep, this is bad. This is super bad. Super bad. And I am going to be vigilant it, this is the level uh, order of priority, right? If you go out and dismiss this, if you're a Mass Poly Media member um, and you go out and dismiss this, um, apologize for it, excuse it, any of the above. I'm coming after you so fucking hard, so fucking hard. And he um, means that really on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, yes. not like not in real life, yeah, <laughs> like on on this silly podcast. But you're you're you you know you will lose additional credibility. You'll be a joke. You'll be you'll be whatever you probably already are. But more more, you know, <laughs> you will be discussed. Um, if you ignore it outright and you're part of the six o'clock news, the crew, uh, I'm calling you out too. Okay. Because that's nonsense. More than usual. Yeah, More than usual. Th that's nonsense. And and a fair amount of you on the six o'clock news follow me. So this needs to be a topic. Um, this is going to go national. This is going to go national for a whole host of reasons. Um, so look, reporters are making calls already. So it's going to come out. Um, giddy up. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how you recover from this. Um, I think it depends on what the public perception is. I, I hate saying it like that, but while you and I see the obvious issues, um, it really do does depend on what the public perceives as, as this as an issue in the way that maybe that camp is able to handle the PR fallout from this. It is an actual problem. It is a problem. We've discussed on this podcast that transparency is already an issue in the state house. Oh um, if you are going to allow someone who is supposed to be oversight over federal or state departments um do what this is then yeah there you go yeah uh it'll be interesting to see what the other side does with this because you're going to have um, other people who want this position going after them and rightfully so now Here's the interesting part, Caitlin. How does this benefit us <laughs> as people who uh, don't want to see who people who want to see the right people get elected uh, to the corner office? Do you do? Are we going into mass GOP drama again? No, 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 not not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily. Because what I think this does, well, sort of a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. The mass GOP dysfunction to me gives up five to eight points in a general election race okay because of pure party apparatus if this plays out and the individual involved survives it and somehow you know is there in november rather than rather than in september do you think it equalizes out is it a wash do you, do you get what i'm saying I don't know. I think it, if it if the story comes out that we've heard rumors of allegedly, 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 we, if we've heard you and I heard the same rumor um, verbatim, pretty much, um, it's kind of interesting that it's coming out now. 
That's why I'm why do you, why do you think it's interesting there? Because I think it's a political hit from within side. Because they want somebody else. Huh. I because I if don't, it were if, right. if it were from the opposite side, it'd be happening in September. Probably. Um, I think. <clears throat> well, look, papers come out in a few weeks, right? Uh, nomination papers. You need ten, mm -hmm. you need ten thousand signatures to get on the ballot. Um, I think it opens up the opportunity for other candidates to get in, right? To, to for this to happen. Um, I don't think this is from. How can I say this? I don't think this is from the right. If yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. I think probably, this is but but probably I think I, this is from the left. Right. So what what you can do this would be the smarter play because because this person's already you know moved moved into full uh, full uh, mode of going for uh, the corner office. So waiting till after that took place rather than before sort of makes sense uh, from a timing yep. from a timing perspective. And you're right; it probably is from the in from from their side um because the uh, you know you make a not even enemies but also this is just like the way it I took the way it took place is like legit this is a legit issue this isn't this isn't like this is i mean this is a legit issue this is a legitimate yeah, so so listen to what my my thinking on this is okay i think that with all the troubles that we have on our side in mass gop they have issues on their side because their political pipeline is stunted by people being cemented in place and incumbency, right? Yeah. So they knew that this person was going to run for governor and they want to level the playing field. Mm -hmm. So I think that this is the way that if this comes out, allegedly, right. allegedly, I think that levels the playing field. Do you see what I'm saying? I do. And I do, and I think the person who would come in and sort of parachute in, who was discussed earlier uh, in it, would be hugely advantaged in doing so. This opens it up. Uh, yes. Now, whether that person will or not is is the real is the question. I think um, the question of the day. I think they should. It would make perfect sense if they ever wanted it for them to do it. The timing could never be better. Um. And, and that, but if that person don't, do, if that person don't, if that person doesn't, uh, it, it creates a huge opportunity for the Republican nominee for governor, yep. whomever, whomever that is huge opportunity because you have scandal. You, yeah, you, this is the choices that you have marred with a huge scandal that will not go away and you, they will get hammered on for... i mean in a sane world this would have oversight into looking into it from the state level in a right. sane world allegedly yeah. allegedly <laughs> we don't live in a sane world we haven't lived in a sane world since maybe 2014 <laughs> I mean, yeah in massachusetts but... you just don't and so yeah um, it's bad so and then you so it's either scandal ridden or absolute kooks which Either way benefits the Republican nominee in the current landscape of things. But I think that landscape changes after this news comes out. Um, it'd be a real question of like, so we may, we're recording this. It's, you know, February 13th. And remember, we this is a rumor that we've heard. Yeah. I it's wonder so I wonder how long it will take. Like, because if this, uh, this episode comes out, we've talked about it now for coming up, you know, 15 minutes. People are going to be like, you know, in, in two weeks, did they go, ah, whatever happened to that? Or does it come out in three? Well, I think it comes out within that amount of time, within two or three, because they got to line up this story. But um, it's earth it's earth shattering mass poly news. Uh, and I do want to say that I heard this rumor over a month ago. This isn't like right, it was right. this isn't allegedly, a allegedly a rumor, <laughs> rumor. Yeah, same, same. I heard it over a month ago. Yeah, a while back. Uh, and 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 here and here here's the here's the funny part to this rumor, and I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest when if you're watching this and you're an advisor, we've discussed one aspect of the rumor. 
when it comes out, and I'm going to read all the reporting about the rumor, allegedly, if there's something absent in that reporting, and it only focuses on one aspect of the rumor, there's another aspect of the rumor. There's a part two. Now, remember what happened with Joe Rogan, right? They tried to hit him on, like, they were like, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell are pulling their music, and it didn't make a dent, right? Okay, so they had queued up the next thing, the 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 bad word video compilation, right? And he still survived it, okay? It's different. You're not going to survive this. Okay? It, it, it comes in two, but it comes in two hits. Like, the, the first one was Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, punch in the nose, boom. The attempted knockout blow was the compilation video. There's two parts to this. There's there's a there's part A inappropriate scandal bigger part and then there's part B which will push it over to the edge. Um do you think it all comes out at once or do they stage it? I don't know. It depends on whether or not they really want to to hit punch, get out of the race type of deal. I mean, I think the by, person. By the way, both both are they, but both are both are equally knock up. You know, can knock them out either way. But there's are two. we talking about the the other rumor? Yeah, that we also heard. Yeah. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think. I think they want clicks. And this this story can linger, so I'm I'm going for the two parter. There's a I sequel. just want to say that I voted for Steve Dibble in Salem, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um. Oh, that's part three. No, I'm sorry. No, you're in part three. Oh. You're in oh, part I'm three. Sorry. You're in part three. There, okay. There's a there's a there's a part two with, that relates to part one. I mean, I really and everybody, everybody who doesn't know what 2020 really <laughs> sucked, and the reason why it sucked was because of the man. Um, <laughs> everybody watching this right now is go is like probably so mad. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? If you don't know what we we're can't, talking about, we, but the we, thing is, is like we can't, we can't, we can't, have, we can't really drop can't. a top more than hints. We can only strategize and yeah. talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, I did but yeah, it, this is going to be. This, yeah, no, but that that's separate. That's interesting to me. Um, now that's local. I, I think voted that... for him based on the fact that the <laughs> current mayor of Salem's leadership really does yeah. does suck. I mean, we do have a lot of issues in Salem. We had the superintendent issue with schools about two yeah. years ago, and then Salem Halloween twenty twenty was a mess, and she had to get Charlie Baker involved. It was insane, Jeff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yes, I voted for Steve Double. Okay. Um, so yeah, those those aren't uh, particularly related. I'll well, you know, I'll remind you if you can't remember what it was is, I'll remind you what the part two is uh, when we when we're done recording. Um, all right, so just to recap, uh, you know, this this is going to be interesting how this plays out. Uh, Mass Poly Media, I'm going to be watching you. I'll be taking names. If you uh, dismiss, you shouldn't dismiss. If you excuse, you shouldn't excuse. Uh, if you ignore, you shouldn't ignore. Um, do your job. Do your job. We expect you to do your, do your job. If you're in the media in Massachusetts and you're not doing your job, which means you're not covering the real news, coming bullshit. Like you, and you know what I'm talking about. We don't want to hear bullshit. We want to hear the real news. Yeah. Um, you got to. You got to cover it. Yep. All right. On and the real news. The on. going on to the real news. Masking in Boston. <laughs> do you have do you yeah. have the video of it yeah let's queue up all right so uh let me get caitlin set up here so caitlin i'm going to um this is one of the funniest I, videos i'm gonna ever. caitlin you've seen this so yep. i'm just going to play the audio because so our video kind of gets a little kludgy with our with what we do uh broadcasting here so the audience at home can see this you're going to hear this but everybody at home is going to see it. All right. So here we go. Oh, so she's unable to join. Who 
whoever, whoever put the music to this is just glorious. It's just glorious. Okay. Uh, In the when, meantime, I will try to just fill time by answering any questions anyone has. Um, I see a lot of friends who uh, have different. Oh, Happy New Year! Yes, Year of the Tiger. Very, very cute tiger emoji. Okay, I mean, we're, we're checking with the congresswoman's team, and if, if it comes down to it, I will log out and log back in. Just to keep that smile going. Oh, Madam Mayor. Oh, Madam Mayor. This didn't go well for you. Oh, my God. This was one of the funniest videos I saw this week, Jeff. Oh, my God. And it happened the day that, like, literally all the mask mandates in the country were falling down. <laughs> and the thing is, is, like, it was so peak, like, progressive, no self-awareness, yeah. millennial. Yeah. Like, I remember you and I shared, like, we <laughs> DM back and forth. We were just like, she has no self-awareness. What a dweeb. What yeah. a little dork. Yeah. There, um, by the way, here's the thing. If um, I think there's a setting you can, well, for, for any of these things where you can turn that off and you probably should. And if, and if like, I don't, here's the thing. I don't care about the comments if on, on the show. Like, you and I talk together to get our point across. If you're going on an Instagram live, you should be you should be saying what you're doing. Like this shouldn't it's not feedback. It's really a bad idea to it like there are other uh podcast shows and internet shows that like read the comments and then like, chime in like Opie from Opie and Anthony and there's another local one that does it and it's just it's like nobody nobody cares what the comments. Don't go there like come online and say what you have to say and the people watching will say what they have to say. Uh, all right, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what they have to say. It's like it's more important I, I than you get. Your... How, yeah, I just love how they were like, end the mandate, stop end the, the mandate. mandate, stop the mandate, stop, man stop the mandate. And she's like, <gasps> yeah. like, you can see her face where she was just trying to like hold it together, uh, reading. Uh, it. Yeah, smiling, like... going uh, like this is what happens when we we talked about this offline for her whole life, her whole career. She has been told she is awesome and smart and special and wonderful. And, you know, keeps regurgitating progressive talking points up and down. And if you are so inside the bubble and you have moved ac across your career and never had to produce results and been an activist and a government employee and never had a real, real, real job, progressivism doesn't function in the real world. Like it's like they say, everything woke turns to shit. Okay, so yeah, one so, of Donald Trump's better famous lines. Yeah, yeah, everything woke does turn to shit. Progressivism is woke. You don't understand. Like you, you need to be a part of like other people and be outside of the progressive bubble. Interact with all kinds of people um, of differing point of views to understand sort of how the world works and different points of view. Right. That makes you a better person and makes you better at your job. Doubling down on mask mandates for the schools when just about the whole country opened up and finally saw what, uh, you know, <laughs> that the science has changed um, is bananas. It is a bad move. You are being beholden to the teachers union, taking a picture of a few dozen students activists who you've brainwashed into supporting you and bullied into raising their hands in an auditorium. Hey, do you kids like the masks? I support masks. And they all raise their hands. You're the mayor of a major city. You're exerting power over those students. And when you say, when you ask them, what are they supposed to do? Imagine being the, the one kid who's like, oh, I fucking hate them. There was one kid in the back who refused to raise their hands and just sat there and looked forward instead yeah. of getting in the picture. 
I mean, I don't know what was that person was thinking when they were going through this. They could like promote that, but like that picture was so cringy. Um, I mean, I, and then you just see like videos of like teachers announcing to kids mm -hmm. um, that the mandate, they're not going to wear it anymore. And you see the kids jumping up out and screaming, like they're excited to be done with this. I don't think that a lot of these progressives understand what they've done to these children. I mean, we, in Europe, they don't mask children, Jeff, in, in Europe. Okay. In, in the UK, because they know that children aren't really susceptible to the higher, you know, it get COVID really bad. I mean, they know that this is not going to happen mm -hmm. in the United mm -hmm. States. The kids that have had it, had had severe comorbidities morbidities that have caused them to have severe cases of COVID. And that's rare. It's very rare mm -hmm. in comparison. Yeah. And but you've taken the, you've taken two years of their life and you've made it hell for them. And so, yeah, they're going to cheer when they don't have to wear a mask anymore. They don't have to wear a cloth over their face anymore. And it is they're not wearing they're not wearing N95s. The, the, they're wearing cloth the, masks as a uniform. And, and it, that's ridiculous. And the science is very, very, very clear on this, that the cloth mask, even the CDC has said it. The cloth masks don't do a thing. The paper, the piece of paper over your mouth doesn't do a thing. Can we stop this charade? End these silly mandates. You shouldn't have to Wait. show your papers to work or eat in, in in a major city in America. You shouldn't have to. Okay. That's one of the reasons. So, like my I, I okay, this is a side note. I go get facials on Newberry Street because it's one of the only organic um spas in Boston. And my esthetician there is like super awesome. Um I will, if you need a, if you're in Boston, you need the name of an esthetician that's really good. DM me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I was not going to go and have to show my vaccine passport. I'm like done with this shit. Like, I don't, I don't think well, people really, in Salem, they weren't even enforcing it. They, they passed this right before Christmas. Yeah. They weren't even enforcing it. I've been going in maskless to Starbucks for two months and none of those people had the, well, I, I am also a six foot woman. They were never going to tell me to put a mask on, <laughs> yeah. but um, they never had the balls to ask me to put a mask back on. It was snowing. Like you're, you walk in, you get your coffee and then you leave. Yeah. Like I'm not putting a mask on to do that. It, I didn't go and eat yeah. in Salem. The one per the one place where I did go eat in Salem, no one was wearing a mask. The, like no one cares yeah. anymore. This is done. We are in a state where the vaccination rate is so high. It is high. Let, let, and, 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 and a reminder, a reminder to the people who want to lie about the position: we vaccines work. The 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 people of hot the the people who have been vaccinated dramatically dramatically cut down on hospital admissions over the course of this illness. Huge wins. Yes, B between we, those who you are and I both yep. got vaccinated. We both saw the risk assessment of not getting vaccinated versus getting vaccinated. We, you mm -hmm. know, we saw the benefits of getting vaccinated. We both got COVID um, and we both survived and got over COVID as well. So at some point this needs to end yep. and yep. your mandates and your restrictions are causing political issues and not only political issues, it's where people are having to protest like they are in Michigan and Canada. Yeah. It, it, where, if it keeps up, it will spread. I mean, it will spread. Yes. And like, the, and we see it in France. We see it in New Zealand. The police are using the song, the Macarena to stop protests in New Zealand, Jeff, over COVID. It's, I'm not kidding. It, I know. I saw, I saw that. It's, it's silly. It's just silly. Man, so mandates. Crazy. Mandates. We're, we are not going to get out of this with mandates. We're going to get out of this with science. We're gonna get out of get out get out of this by adapting to it, by pushing through it, and understanding it's yeah. endemic now. It's yeah. staying. We're never going to be COVID zero. Yeah. We're now finally the media is reporting on natural immunity, which they mm -hmm. should have been in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, as they did have the science, they did have the data on that. You can't pretend that you didn't. Um, and you know the thing is, is like we see New Jersey first stop the mask mandates for the kids. And we see all these other states fall. Then finally, Charlie Baker decided to get on it. Yeah. And, uh, do we want? That I, took a while, and you know we like you, Charlie Baker, but that was disappointing. It took you it was, a little it, bit. That he, was he, disappointing. He could have been 
two to three weeks ahead of this instead of leading from behind on the, you know what I mean? Like th- this really could have We get been. that you're done, but you could have been the first person. You're yeah. literally a Republican for fuck's sake. Come on, man. Yeah, like was, I'll, I'll be straightforward on that. No, I, I, I'm just, it's disappointing to me on that aspect. You know, there, uh, you know, uh, he's a big government guy. He's a big government Republican. Okay. Still in the tent. Fine. I support him. Would I, if he changed his mind and wanted to run for reelection, I would, I still support him. Um, but he's a big government guy and he liked the idea of developing an app for showing your papers and showing your vax card to different places. And it makes it easier. And I just fundamentally disagree with him on this. And yes, the max. It was necessary. Like I, that's the thing that I think that a lot of people are not understanding. We were never going to be in these restrictions forever. So why are you creating software that is going to force that forever position? That's an excellent point. That's where I have the, that that's, that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. Uh, like, why yeah. why are we th- showing our vaccination cards? The United States is not a third world country. We're a first world country. Yeah. Majority of people in this country are vaccinated. And we do get vaccinated, okay? Like over 70%. It's, we're at a high, high rate. Well over 70% yeah. of the total population. And it's something in the high 90s of people over 60, so you were 60 gonna, 65. And you were going to expect Board of Health to enforce this on you know, restaurants and businesses having to check to see if you're vaccinated coming in. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I mean, good Lord. If you know what the vaccination rate is and it's above 70, why are we having the vaccine vaccine passport in general? The Most people listen to what you were saying. You were trying to segregate that 30% so they were not being able to go into businesses and all that stuff. And that's what you're doing, trying to cause economic harm on these people in order to get the vaccine. And that's wrong. It is. I, it, I mean, it's I morally wrong. Morally wrong. I, I understand that you're frustrated that they won't get the vaccine. I get that. Okay. I see the benefit of being vaccinated, but you're trying to cause economic harm to these people. And at some point, that's cruel. And we need to discuss how that's cruel. And you need to be. You need to know that that's how we feel. And and Wu, Michelle Wu's biggest problem here, Mayor Wu's biggest problem here, is that she's not seeing it. She's doubling down. She's she's here. here here's here's where I'll, here, here's where it gets very interesting to me. Where I really we wonder why, right? The basic the all the data says make this decision, and I think I think it, I honestly think it comes down to this for a whole host of people. The individuals who were opposed to everything that they want to do, the mandates, the masks, the 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 showing the papers, were all from the right. Republicans, centrists, all, all on the right. And their brains can't fathom us being correct. In their minds, we are always the bad, evil people and will always be wrong. So they just steal themselves and say, no, it can't be this way. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. The uh, the people they don't like disagree with them, so therefore they have to do the opposite. Well, and, well, look at what Justin Trudeau's rhetoric was, Joe. Yeah. I mean, he literally tried right. to other these people. Like yeah. it was insane. He literally tried to say that they're misogynistic. These Canadian <laughs> truckers who yeah. are protesting the mask. Like yeah. misogynistic, you're a dude. Shut up. It, but it um, makes more sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. It's like they just do the same. Uh, they they they're cast the same aspersions they're, of people. They're racist. racist. This has been one of the yeah. most. This has been one of the most diverse protest, peaceful protests I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. A lot of truckers in Canada are actually um, Indians. They're from India that immigrated over and they became truckers because it's a very easy uh, skill to learn. And then they move up in the world, and that's mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. they mobily progress um, after immigrating over. Um, and so, yeah, to say that a diverse a uh, protest full of women um, along with men um, that just don't like what you're doing is these things. And that's one of the things where I think it's like, Michelle Wu, why are you taking pointers from the guy over in Canada? Like, we're not the same. Even even progressive Boston is not the same as Ottawa, okay? The, the progressives, the supporters of the mandates, the government supremacists have lost. You've already lost. You've already lost if you want to if you want not coming back yeah, if you want to cling to till this until november and wait till you get absolutely wiped out be my guest be my guest 
but it the it internals is, must be that bad. It guys. is over, and you've lost, and you need to accept it, and just be a politician and relax. Get rid of the rules, and in two months, lie about it. How you always said you didn't support it, but you felt you had to. But the science changed and do it. Just that's your best option at this point. Your worst option well, is the to Biden keep doubling administration down. Is doubling down. Yeah. They're doubling down. Jen Psaki this week says that they still support masks on kids in schools. And they're going to pay. They're going to pay. They get- still promote They still promote masking in urban areas. Yep. Like, it's insane watching these people just, like, completely not get it. And then they're like, well, why is Biden not really liked? And you see, like, these insider stories in Politico where they're complaining about Biden not being liked. He's not liked for numerous reasons, right? But, like, this is one of them. Because his yeah. White House looks incompetent. Right. And this incompetency, not matching what the public polling is on this issue, is a problem. Jeff, we've been through two years of this. We've done things right. When we see that the science has evolved and we see that masking doesn't really help, yeah, our, our opinion changes. And then the public opinion changes. Government should match that. And yeah. we're not seeing that. And- we're seeing it on the state level. Yeah, well, some places. Democrats are going to see it real soon, sooner than you think. They didn't learn anything from Yunkin. But all right, folks, it's been a hell of an episode, been a hell of a week. Um, oh, uh, I just to wrap up on this, um, uh, Justin Trudeau is Fidel Castro's bastard son, and you can't conv- oh you you can't convince me otherwise so i learned that's that this week i learned the theory where i'm like <laughs> that, yeah, i that, see it i, I mean, see it those pictures those pictures caitlin holy cow and then the well, timeline the of, is like you it's so like you so like it's like pretty well known that justin trudeau's mom like yeah was yeah. deep friends with fidel castro deep <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Allegedly, allegedly, rumor, rumor. Allegedly, allegedly. All right. That's it for, yeah, but watch me lose my account after this. So, um, <laughs> uh, all right. Head on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash rhinopod. We did a great episode there, only a dollar a month. We always appreciate the support, extra content there. Uh, it's been a hell of a week here. We'll see if this breaks, if the news we talked about at the top of the episode breaks. It's going to be huge, huge. Uh, so, um, stay tuned. We always appreciate you, uh, viewing us and, uh, we look forward to next week as always until then. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Have a good week.